So, what's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So, we are killing this rat boss. It's like a new boss in the Varrock sewers. It doesn't drop like fuck all. It has two collection log items, a pet in a 1 in 3000 and some weird attachment for a rune weapon uh, or a staff or so on, which is, helps you kill this boss specifically. Uh, but what we've done gear-wise is we've picked up the fang because it hits like a fucking truck here. And then we've added a blood shard to our fury. And we are getting some nutty XP here. Like the XP here is crazy. Uh, he's a pretty simple boss once you know what to look for. So we just come in, boom, boom. And we got this big rat king dude. There he is. And you just, he's got a lot of HP, but the kills are taking me. With the whip, it was around six minutes. But with this fang, I was actually um, doing about three and a half to four minutes, depending on a bit of RNG. I hit him with the, the big boy spec. Oosh. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty straightforward. So he does a melee attack, and then he does this attack where stuff falls from the ceiling. And you just sidestep it. And then he has like three phases. The second phase... He slightly heals himself and does like mage range and then the full attack. Um, the mage is blue, so you just pray uh, mage for blue. You'll see it here. So this is the second phase. So he'll do blue or green, blue. There we go. So you just pray mage. And yeah, and if it's green like that, then you just pray range. A bit like Jad. You just got to flick it on before it hits you. Very similar to Jad, really. Uh, good practice mechanics. And then... Oh, and then right at the end, what he does, once he gets to about like 400 HP-ish, I uh, should be on melee here, um, he then just stands in the middle and does like loads of uh, the the same attacks he does here basically all the time. And it gets a bit chaotic, loads of stuff falling from the sky. Uh, but he is pretty straightforward. He summons a bunch of rats as well. Well, perfect timing. Um, but with the Blood Fury, you can literally just ignore them and yeah, just pretend they're not there. Because you, you take a little bit of chip damage, but you get most of it back from the Blood Fury. Uh, but he is like 90 XP, like I'm getting, what, 150k, 160k-ish right now. Um, if you want an active way to train um, melee XP, uh, I imagine it probably works for range and mage as well, I haven't tried it. Uh, if you want an active way to get XP, this is a really good way to do it. And you know, you got a chance of the pet as well. Oh, nice. Uh, kill count 14 for the spine. Apparently, you just attach this to like a mace, a rune mace, and it's meant to be really good here. And you can like one uh, one tick, like kill the rats or something, uh, which is a combat achievement here. So might actually give that a try, but I don't think it's as good DPS as this. I think it's better at lower levels, though, to use the mace with the attachment. That is all the combat achievements done at this guy. And what I didn't realize, because I was doing public lobby, is that in a private lobby he has um 500 health in in a public lobby he has 1500 so i waste a lot of time doing kills in the uh public boom 110 combat and 95 strength mate the xp just flies here ignore my xp an hour because i kind of went off to have some food and that um but when i was actually tracking it properly i was getting like on a low end, like with banking and stuff, like 120k, if you're here focusing, like 150, it's like, that's fucking crazy for old school combat rates. Um, yeah, 95. Okay, so we have done 50 kills. That puts us rank 99,800. So in the top 100,000 people. How have so many people killed that fucking thing? I guess it is low level and I think it might be free to play as well. That's probably why. But I did enjoy that. I would love to go back and get the pet. Um, now I figured out how to kill it quicker by doing a private instance. Um, don't know why it has more in the public, but it's whatever. Alright, so apparently that is all we need to get to the new island. But there's a quest done. Alright, there's another one of the new quests complete. Um, it says access to master tier hunter rumors. Thought you needed it for the whole thing. Uh, kind of annoying doing a quest after use the wiki. Like, it's the fucking Stone Age because it's not in the quest helper yet. Okay, so that is like our second rumor, I think. Let's get another one. What's it gonna be? Razorback Kevit. Okay, sweet. So that's two rumors done and our first hunter level of 63. I think the goal is to get to 10 and then you can get an easier way to teleport. Because running back and forth to here is really annoying. We just hit Hunter level 65 and total level 1,800. And I've caught like over 200 of these. I don't understand this at all. I feel like it's bugged. 
Because a lot of times you turn up, you get it, first kill, first kill, first kill, or well, first catch, should I say. Or it takes like 200 plus. Like, what is that about? Okay, so we have done a total of 13 adept, and I'm going to open them. I think I'm going to wait till I hit 72 to go back so I can do the higher tier stuff. Probably just do birdhouse ones for now. Uh, but let's see what we get in these. I really have no idea what to expect. I think that bird seed feed stuff uh, is for building the transportation system. Uh, I don't know if you can actually get rares here either. Let's just spam it and see what happens. No, not a single unique Eva. I don't know if you can get them from them lower tier ones either. But let's sell this stuff up. So we got ourselves a total of like 400k. That isn't bad. Uh, this stuff isn't sellable. Oh, it's all bone related. So I'm assuming that has something to do with the new area. But yeah, it's not too bad for what we did. Yeah, it's another one of these quests knocked out. I think there's one more. Maybe there's more than one more. But I think there's one more. And we unlock a new prayer training and mining method, which I'm looking forward to checking out. Okay, that quest was Oss. Um, there's three bosses you gotta kill, and the the two of them are good. One of them is fucking ass. That blood one, he heals so much. Like, you get him to like 10 HP, and then he drops down again, and then you get him like he goes back up to 100, then you get him down to 10, and oh, he's so irritating. But glad to have that done. Apparently, that technically classes as a kill, so we got some shit and a collection log as well. But we're gonna. Bank all of that. I'm assuming then you have to kill three bosses and then loot the chest every time. Okay, so this is like the worst bit of the fight, but it's all just timing. So you wait for that circle, walk back. I think once you get this down, you shouldn't take too much damage. I think that's how you do it. I'm still fucking it up. Out of the hills to me, isn't it? Yeah, so this is very similar to TOA. Um, I'm imagining that was the idea behind that. That's what this is teaching. A little bit off there. Yeah, very, very similar to TOA in the final phase or whatever. We got to slap the spider bitch and go back and forth. Okay, so we've done five lunar chests just to get us on the high scores. I think it puts us like rank 79,000. It shows a lot of people actively engaging with this new content. Um, but yeah, kind of bored of it. It's okay. It's pretty relaxing to be honest, but I want to go check out the new mining method. Okay, so this mining method actually seems to be pretty good. It seems more AFK than Motherload Mine and seems to be getting similar XP rates, slightly less. I was averaging around 40 and sometimes I look at it's about 43, 42, but an absolute beast of a mining level coming in. 90. Oh, that's huge. Definitely probably my most impressive stat on the account, really. I completely forgot about this item. A monkey you can get out of this chest after monkey madness 2 and it is some hella fashion scape <laughs> looks so good and you can actually change the way he looks by doing the agility course in a monkey town apatow whatever the hell it is um i think it's 100 laps for one monkey and then it's 250 and then it's like every 500 up to like 2000 the skeleton one looks dope but i think it's like crazy amount of laps okay i'm not quite sure how this works if you're just gonna get a collection log pop up at the bottom or what but there should be a hundred laps do you get a collection log pop up or do i need to transform it first transform oh that's so strange so can you technically build them all up and then do all the transforms at the end all right so let's compare the two so there's the original monkey and then if we just take him off transform from your monkey um I think I prefer the look of the original one. So I just did a few more laps to get 74. Don't think that unlocks anything. Lava Dragon, I'll jump. Not too useful. Uh, 75 for the Prif course and 76 for, I think it's the Zora shortcut, which are both pretty useful uh, in the future. Okay, so we have done 250 laps. So if we hit transform into the zombie monkey. There we go. Nice zombie backpack. Let's teleport out of here and have a look what it looks like. I really want the skeletal one. Okay, that one actually looks pretty dope. I like that as much better than the previous one was terrible. Um, but I had to look through them and the skeleton one is just like a skeleton of a monkey, obviously, on your back. And it looks so good. It's a thousand laps. We're 250 and it's 2,000 to complete the whole log. Uh, oh, it's so all the way over here. Why, why isn't that in order? That's weird. Uh, but we got two here. Looking beautiful. Um, so I want to really get up. I'm enjoying the clog content, not gonna lie. 
Uh, I really want to get this up to 206, and an easy way to do that would be to knock out some clues. We have got, like, even the shared table, only 15. Easy 3. Medium 18. Uh, let's do a couple clues for some easy cloggers. Okay, so we have got ourselves 23 clues. That should put us on 50 total easies. So let's see if we get anything nice. Uh, hopefully it should just start spamming off soon. Okay, there's a page. Can't see. <laughs> I'm assuming that's one of the crappy things. Okay, trimmed legs. Let's go. What else we got? Oh, it's got, it gets so backed up when you're doing clues. That's a dupe look at it. Is that for the red firelighter? <laughs> this will be every single clue because of the shared table. D, no, no, come on, can't see. Let's just keep going. Uh, yeah, that should be the last thing. But then we get an iron plate body T. Bro, this is so bad for this, um, for doing clues. I need to learn how to change the position of that. Uh, another thing. Black Helm H3. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, okay. Wooden Shield G is actually really good. I think that's one of like the rarer ones to get. This thing's just going to keep going. I have to time it. Hold up. Boom. Nothing. Bob shirt. Nice. This is still behind. And we got two more. So let's go. Boom. Boom. Another page. <laughs> okay. So we're going to jump up loads. Ready? Boom. <laughs> so we went from. 207 the 217 okay pretty nice got 10 things knocked off there so in reality we didn't actually get much it was all from the shared yeah we jumped the shared up to like 20 a bunch of shit ticked off so hopefully we won't see it next time but in easies we're still only nine items in 50 but i think these three are like some of the rarest stuff and then the capes are really rare as well so it's good to get one of them done so it turns out the rarest thing in here is actually the monk's robe by quite a long shot, the like one in 14k. And then it's the capes, and then it's these two items. This one is just as rare as all the main bulk of stuff. I thought I'd try my luck with 10 more easies and a beginner, probably nothing. Never anything in beginners, man. So rare, but let's uh let's see how we do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, is that oh, okay, it's the iron helm. I thought it was the fucking uh Build it pill thing, but oh, still helm T as well. It's pretty nice. Keep going. Nothing in there. Can we squeeze one more out? Oh, one more, one more. No, okay, that wasn't too good. That was just uh, two more items there. Okay, so we've been doing like the pussy method in Lost Man Standing of getting one kill and then hiding uh, just to get a couple collection logs here, and we'll buy that as well there we go two easy collection logs done dragon pickaxe upgrade kit i'll probably keep that to be honest and there we go absolute beautiful dragon pickaxe so nice okay so i've had a bit of fun just doing random bits and bobs here and there so i kind of want to just lock in a goal and i think it's something that could be fun and useful at the same time is western province hard and it will Get us to do a few things that I really need to do. So the easy we can do, medium we can do. Uh, the hard actually needs quite a lot of quests. We need Roving Elves, Swan Song, Regicide, Morning's End Part uh, Part One, and yeah, Roving Elves again. Uh, it needs a lot of even training. I'm only 58. It would need 75. Um, there's also like Chompy Bird hunting involved in here and stuff. Could get some collection logs from that. Um, there's the chance to get the pet as well. I think I can't remember if it's once you've done the hard diary or it's the elite where you're guaranteed the pet or something. Uh, maybe it's the hard. Uh, I should probably should look that up beforehand. Uh, but yeah, I think that'd be a fun thing to do. Get us to do a few quests and some other bits and bobs. So I'm going to make that my goal at the moment. I got my beautiful chompy hat and there's the easy diary done. Now we've got to go kill some more chompies, but at least we have a small chance of multiple spawning. All right, some easy collection logs coming in. Wait, I don't want to claim arrows. Don't want any of that crap, but give me my hats. Can I have hats, please? Hopefully, I don't have to do this every time. You're just going to... Okay, there we go. Nice little bit of spam. And that is everything for the medium other than the gnome deliveries, which we're going to go do now. 
Oh my god, my first delivery. I haven't even, um... I haven't even finished the fucking um, diary step yet. We got the gnome goggles. Hell yeah, that's so lucky. Yeah, that's nuts. That's the um, medium done. As you can see, yeah, it ticked the completion of the diary first and then collection log. But that was on my first run. This kind of made me want to get more. Um, see if I could finish that log as well. But yeah, um, so reward wise, I think it's now like 50% chance we get a chompy. Uh, but then the big bits left the um the hard diary which we don't have all the requirements for not even close <laughs> no way i thought i'd test my luck and do a few more i think i've probably done probably like eight or something and we just got the fucking gnome scarf as well what the hell um to get them two items first is amazing because the only thing we have left is the grand seed pod and the mint cake <laughs> Okay, well, I just realized you can actually see the amount of deliveries. Eight deliveries to get both of them is amazing. Obviously, I've just done an extra one as well. But it was like seven. <laughs> yes! Yes, it is finally over. We have done it. We have completed it. Oh, I just kept going. I couldn't help myself. But it took me 61. We got so lucky on these two. And then this one took ages. Got this around uh, 50, I think. And then 61 for that one. But that's a green log, boys. Look at that. Lovely. So just finished up the annoying bit, which is killing 300 chompies. So we, I keep claiming arrows every time I come here. Um, give me one of them hats. Can I have a hat, please? Uh, it should give me the hats. And I should get a bunch of collection logs, I think. It shouldn't actually be... Oh, there we go. Is that just the one hat I got? Just the one for that many more kills. Uh, maybe I don't have the space, actually. I oh, know it, do it does say it's uh, the diary's complete, so yeah. I know, there was two more. Uh, it's just where my inventory was full. It gave me the highest level one, I think. Just so I could get the diary done. Maybe just got the uh, bottomless bucket. Kill count eight. That's pretty damn lucky. Oh, I forgot a seed dibber, but... Um, what's is that the log done? Maybe there's probably like some odd seed I don't have. No, Hispori log done. Eight kills. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, one of the quests down for the diary. Um, still a fair few more to go, but there's a step to fish and cook here. So just trying out this new thieving method. Actually pretty cool. So one of these little kids every now and then will distract the guard. And it's 90, 96 a pickpocket. So it's like even better than knights. And when it's distracted, you don't fail. And it happens like it's every like three to five minutes, maybe. Um, there's obviously way more to this as well. You get these keys. I think you can open houses. Haven't tried that yet. Um, but definitely a probably one of the best places to train Thieven at this level, I'm assuming, so far. I get like 80k an hour and I'm only level 60. I finally got myself 70. Um, still got like 5 levels to go. Uh, but glad I've knocked out a huge chunk of that. This place is so chill. Like, just doing these rooms and going around. It's really AFK. If you just put sound effects on. Uh, also, for the guy in the middle when you're getting the keys, it makes a little noise when you can pickpocket him without having to... Um, like where you won't fail and stuff. Everything, all you need is sound effects. You get a sound when the dude turns up to come in and you leave. Yeah, really chill fever method. I might switch it up though. Maybe do some like pyramid plunder. Maybe some RD knights uh, for the last five levels. i yeah, kind of glad to see the backside of this quest. Fucking hate that one. That's regicide done. Still need to do like two more quests though, I think. That's Raven Elves done. I've always enjoyed this quest. You know what's weird is that the crystal bow... I remember back in the day, like, how important this quest was to get a crystal bow. This was, like, proper endgame range gear. That was just, like, yeah, it's just kind of crap. I guess it's kind of cool, though, that the both are still, like, a really useful weapon. Kind of fills in the space this used to have in the nostalgia slot. Okay, so I decided to speed up the hunter and come here and do this method. I've actually always really enjoyed this one. Um, but that is the requirement for the diary. So the only thing left is Morning's End Part 1. And five even levels. Okay, so with the purpose of this account to basically complete absolutely everything, we well, might as well quickly squeeze in the Easter event. Uh, the main reason to do events is for the music cape, uh, the trimmed one, because there's only one time a year you can get them songs. Look how much stuff I unlocked. I don't think I've ever done an Easter event on this account, so there's just so much stuff. Holy shit. And then obviously we got the music track while doing it, and then these previous music tracks, which is the most important thing. 
But yeah, uh, back to the grind. Okay, so just finishing up the last quest requirement. Hopefully I haven't started recording too soon and this ends up being a really long, di a really long dialogue. No, we're good. And we actually got some Fever XP as well, which is nice. Uh, Morning 10 part one done. Don't want to do two just yet. Um, so the only thing left now is two thieving levels and we are done and can do the diary. Just got our one Zora kill and got a collection log for the Zora scales. Uh, juicy 93 HP. Currently can't do anything because I'm waiting for the plant to grow to be able to finish the diary. I just thought I'd come back and slap up the rat. We're on 77 kill count. Okay, so we just finished up a 100 kills at the rat boss and we can finally go check that plant. So let's get that done. Oh my god, that's so nice to see that it hasn't died. This should be it. Check. Ah, there we go. That is the hard diary complete. Yo, the hard diary is so good. It unlocks so much stuff. Uh, I'll put it all on screen. But the main thing being the crystal halberd and elite void. So that actually means we can now green log pest control. So that's probably going to be the next thing I do. There we have absolute boost. Really nice spec weapon, especially things like Hespori. I think it might even be good at the rat. Just big stuff. And the new triple boss is apparently pretty good there as well, if used at the correct time. Okay, so it is that time if we just take these off. This guy, let's make sure I do this correctly. I'm not going to do like the same piece twice, is it? I wear that. Okay, yeah. Again, yes, please. Okay. There we go, we've got both. Oh, Bros takes me back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've worn this. It's the GIM. And that is another log green. Pest control absolutely greened out. Done pretty well this video. There's been a lot of good progress. But I'm probably going to end it here, boys. And I will catch you in the next one. If you guys want to join a clan, feel free to DM me in-game. Uh, obviously, it's like 5 p.m. UK, so it's a bit empty at the minute. But we made some space. You guys want to come hang out or you can just guest it you don't actually have to be a member